What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Reggie Bryant. I am the author of The Wealth Journey and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. Today's video is going to be a very, very popular topic within this channel itself, saving money, but it's not just, you know, any other saving money video. This is the fastest way to save money, but I don't just want to even talk about that. I want to talk to you about the fastest way to reach success in any way you want to in life in addition to how to save money fast. So with that said, let's jump right into this video. So I'm gonna give it to you straight up. The fastest way to save money is to have a very deep rooted reason that drives you. It doesn't have to be anything super crazy. You don't have to write your life story or anything like that. But you need to know exactly why you're doing what you're doing and you need to be extremely intentional with doing it. And you need to tie that to automating your savings. What do I mean by that? Most of us are saving our money on manual mode and it doesn't do too much for us because we're human. So we're either gonna forget or we're gonna have something that tempts us eventually, that tempts us so much that we're like, you know what? I was gonna save this money, but I just gotta have this. I just gotta have these tickets to the game. I just, I just have to go out on this date. I just have to get these shoes. Whatever the case is, we have some sort of temptation, whether it's food, clothes, dates, games, vices, whatever it may be for you, there's always something that's gonna come up that tempts you. So saving your money manually is a way to ensure that at some point, human nature will kick in. Might not happen the first time or the second time, but it's going to happen. The moment you automate your savings, you change the game because it's like, it no longer is it left up to the chance of me remembering to save my money or having willpower to save my money. It's commanding my bank account to automatically send a set amount of money that I've agreed upon every single month, consistently, without fail, at the same date, at the same time. A lot of folks don't follow that and they rely on their own wit and their own memory and their willpower to save their money. And as we can see with this being such a popular topic, it is not something that is very effective to do if you're doing this manually. But if you notice at the beginning of talking about this automation stuff, which by the way, if you don't know how to do that, I have a whole video giving a full on tutorial. I'm talking, I get onto my bank account and I show you exactly from step A to Z how to get through everything step by step how to set it up and how you can increase the amount how you can set which dates i have all of that information in my video is called how to double your savings i will post it up here so you can have easy access to it it will also be in the description if you want to just watch this whole video before looking at that but these are the things that are extremely important in life one is taking the thought process out of it, taking the mental capacity out of it and stop working yourself so much because you we already have busy lives. We already have a bunch of stuff we're doing. Now we have to remember to do one more thing. Just make it easier on yourself by working smarter instead of harder. So that's one of the important things in life. But the other thing is having a deep rooted reason to save your money in the first place because that's going to be the mindset behind setting the amount of money that you want to automate every single month and truly reach your goals and truly be intentional about what it is that you're doing. Now, I know a lot of you probably have really deep reasons as to why you want to save your money. And I know because I definitely have as well. And that's what has propelled me forward and has really gotten me into hyperdrive about saving money. And that was how I started my entire financial journey, which is something I talk about a lot on this channel, which is something that I will never forget because that is my foundation when it comes to personal finances. But it doesn't always have to be a deep reason, though. How many of y'all have wanted something so bad, whether it's a pair of shoes, I'm talking like Jordans, maybe Balenciagas, maybe Yeezys. Ladies, maybe it was a certain bag you wanted to get. Maybe it was a certain type of makeup. It could have been something that was like $50. Just think about a time in life, no matter how young or old you were when you were wanting this thing, you saved up with all your might to get this, even if you didn't have any money left over. For me, it was the PlayStation Portable back in the day when that came out. I think I was in elementary school and I, I was cutting people's yards and all that stuff. I was saving up the money as fast as I could because I had a goal that I was going to reach. Wasn't even making no money back then because I was a kid, obviously. I didn't have a job, but I made something out of nothing. I, I learned the skill cutting grass and I started making money, like $20 per yard I cut. And I showed my work ethic and I got the result, which was the game. After that, I wasn't really cutting no yards like that. You know what I'm saying? But that was what I did to get that money saved at that time. 
So sometimes you'll need to focus all your attention on holding on to more of the money that you're making, but sometimes you're going to need to really just focus on making more money. And that's just how it is sometimes. But as you saw, there was nothing deep about me wanting a PlayStation Portable. It wasn't like I was worried that if I didn't get this PlayStation Portable that I'd get bullied at school or talked about or called broke for not having a PlayStation Portable. It wasn't an ego thing. It wasn't a, oh my gosh, this is a life or death type of thing. This wasn't, you know, I'm not going to have a roof over my head if I don't save this money. This was a, I want to play a video game type of drive. That's what I was on. So you, you need to think about things like that. So have a reason and have intentionality behind what you're doing. But now we're about to talk about the deep stuff because that's what this channel is all about. But just remember this, no matter how deep rooted you are in wanting to do something, no matter how deep the reason is, if you don't follow the process, it's never going to work. Once upon a time, I used to want to be the best basketball player ever. I'm talking, I want. I thought I was going to be the next Michael Jordan. You couldn't tell me nothing. You know what I'm saying when I was in elementary school. And it was so deep-rooted and I was going so hard for it. I was watching all the basketball games. I was watching Like Mike and all that stuff, right? But I wasn't putting in the work. I wasn't practicing like I was supposed to. And eventually, I fell off. If your pain point is so heavy and you want to stop living paycheck to paycheck and you, you want to actually sleep with the peace of mind knowing that you have a heavy savings account and that you have good finances going for yourself, not worrying about the lights being shut off, not worried about your kids not having a good life, not worried about what you're going to eat and what you can afford to eat, or if you want to save up money so you can get out of debt finally, you have to follow the process and understand that this is a process, that there is no fast way to save money. There's a fastest way of saving money, but you're not gonna ha it's not going to happen tomorrow. If you're in a situation today, think about this. How long did it take for you to get into a situation where you're seeking to save money? It probably didn't happen overnight. Like me, when I was going on my journey to learn how to save money, how to invest, how to get out of debt, all of this stuff, I didn't get into that situation overnight. At any point in time in high school, at any point in time in college, I could have been looking up this stuff anyway. I knew it was going to happen. I knew at some point I was going to be on my own, but I waited till I was on my own to start doing that research. To me, that's too late. I mean, obviously it's better than never doing it, but for, t for me, that's too late. And I was hard on myself about it at first, but then I was like, you know what? This is a process. This might take a few months. People are deep diving in the pool right now. So if you heard people screaming, that's why. But I knew it was a process. I, I knew, I knew, I, I said to myself, I knew this might take a few months. This might take a few years. Like I did the math. It was very easy math. I knew I wanted to save about $20,000 in my savings account, and I knew I wanted to be debt-free. But then I had to look at, okay, well, how much debt am I in? At the time, it was like 30 k And then I had to look at, well, which one am I going to prioritize, saving money or debt? I chose to save money while paying off a little bit of debt at a time. That's what I chose. And I had to realize, well, man, like if, if I'm saving this much money, it's going to take some time. Like Based off of my calculations, this is what I'm bringing in every time. This is after I pay off my bills. This is how much I have left over. So at the very maximum... This is how much I can save, which I think at the max was like 600 or something per paycheck. Why do people only decide to start being loud outside when I start recording? Can y'all can answer me that? Can y'all tell me that? Why is it that every time I'm recording a video and I'm getting into a good flow, people outside get to act in a fool? Anyway, don't listen to me. I'm just being a hermit. Everybody else is having fun. Anyway, I understand that it wasn't realistic to expect that I would get out of my situation with inside of a year. Like that just that just wasn't really realistic to think. I had to understand that, okay, this might take somewhere between three to six years to fully complete the way I wanted to. Did it take that long? No. But I was giving myself a time frame that was better than never. You get what I'm saying? Because some of us, when we have goals that may be seen as ambitious by other people, it might feel like it'll take forever or it might never happen, period. But if you give yourself a time frame, you are now locked in and you are now more focused. That is the key behind saving money. And this is what will get you there a lot quicker than just blindly saying, well, I hope I can save $30,000. Okay, well, what is your plan? What is your strategy for that? And a lot of you might not have one, which is fine. I didn't really have one either, except for, you know, 
take as much of my paycheck as I could and shove it into my savings account and then feel bad about myself for depriving myself of a good time because I was penny pinching back then. And then I was like, well, you know, I don't, I don't need to do all this. I, I don't need to do all this. And I thought to myself, well, I, I don't need to do all this. I don't need to keep depriving myself. Let me give myself an extra amount that I can, you know, have fun money with basically. And that slowed down the process because I started overjudging the amount of money I needed to have fun with. And under judging the amount of money that needed to go into my savings. Do y'all follow me in this? I know I'm I know I'm touching somebody right now. I know somebody feels what I'm saying. I felt that one. But these things are very important. So there are pros and cons to living directly in front of a swimming pool. Just know that. So that's what you need. And by the way, if you're curious about what my why is and what my strong driving force was, it wasn't anything crazy. What Nothing deep happened. I wasn't worried about the lights about to shut off or nothing like that. But some of you are in a situation where you have something really deep rooted. But my reason, my reason was just like I was unhappy with my job and I felt like I wanted to feel secure. Cause like I really didn't feel secure. It was a cutthroat company. I watched a bunch of people get walked out, uh, written up. All of that kind of stuff. I've seen like really bad things happen. I've seen people get cussed out. I've seen people be stressed out to the point of walking out of the building and not coming back for that whole week. And then coming back, people walked out with 30 days without pay. I'm talking salary team members, like managers, getting walked out for 30 days with no pay for things that were way out of their control. Like I just saw a lot of stuff. And I was only like 21, 22 when I saw these things. So I was like, oh, nah, man. Like if that happens to me, I'm done. So it made me really think about my future more intentionally. I guess in some strange way, that is one of the best things that's ever happened to me, having that exposure, because it made me more conscientious about my financial decisions. I really wasn't out here willy-nilly like that. Like, I had my moments, but more than anything, I was focused on my future. I was focused on saving. I was focused on getting out of debt. I was focused on how I could get to the next level with money, basically. I wanted to make sure I was secure. And I didn't feel secure. For, first of all, that was my only stream of income at the time. And second, it was just a bad place. And low key, high key, I wanted to leave that company with every bone in my body. Like every day, like after the third month, pretty much every day after that, and I was there for almost two years, pretty much every day after the third month, I wanted to walk out of there, but I knew I couldn't afford it. I only had like $2,000 in my savings account at the time. And it was my first ever job, so I'm just now getting experience and stuff. So like... That right there, for me, it made me obsess over it. It doesn't really take much for me, as you can tell, to obsess over things or to really like go hard for a certain goal. But you get what I'm saying. Your reason could be totally different. But again, it doesn't matter how strong your reason is if you're not following the process. It doesn't matter how strong your reason is if at any given time you just say, well, you know what? Do I really need this? I have a good life. I don't really need this right now. And then 2022.0 happens and, and now you're washed and you have nothing. So you want to think about that. You want to figure out something that is a deep enough reason that you do not deviate from your plan. Because everybody's reason is deep at first until things get difficult, things get tough, things get challenging at work. You don't feel like working overtime today. You don't feel like doing the work to set up the automation, which only literally takes like maybe five minutes to do. But you, if you've never done it before, it might take you 10 or 15 minutes to figure out how to do it. But when you're met with challenges, that's what's going to tell you how quickly you're going to get to your goal. Will Mike Tyson say, everybody has a plan till they get punched in the face. And of course, on top of that, I'm also going to say another way that you can save money really, really fast is to increase your income. But that's not like necessarily feasible to everybody. Like sometimes people don't have overtime at work. If you have overtime, that's a very quick and easy solution right there. Make yourself a schedule and figure, I'm giving y'all all the game today, but make yourself a schedule, figure out how many hours extra a week you're going to do without burning yourself out and then stick to that schedule and don't wake up one day and say, oh, I'm tired or, oh, you know what? I made up my overtime for this week. So I made so much in overtime that I'm making more than I would normally make so I can afford to take a day or two off of my actual schedule. Don't do that. You're deviating from the plan at that point. You have a plan for a reason. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, do I really want to do this for the reasons I'm saying I want to do this? Or am I saying this because it sounds good? We're adults. We ain't here to impress nobody. We're here to account for our financial futures. That's what we're here for. I didn't make this channel for anybody who's trying to impress nobody. We're here for deeper reasons than that. We're here because we want to change the trajectory of our families. We're here because we want to build wealth. We're here because we want to save money and make sure we have a good amount of money in our bank accounts. We're here because we don't want to be talking about debt 20 freaking years from now. We're here because we have different ideas, different thoughts. We're here because we don't want to work for the rest of our lives. 
that is why we're here. I just went off on a little tangent. But anyway, if you want to learn more like about money, about saving money, about you know getting really deep into personal finances, investing, and all of that stuff, stuff that doesn't commonly get taught, you can check out my book. It's available on Amazon. It is in ebook form. It is in paperback. Hardback is coming at the end of the month. You know what I'm saying? And the audio book is coming very, very soon. I'm still recording it right now, and it is sounding awesome. I'm spending extra time on my products, though, because I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the most quality product you can possibly get. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what the hardcover looks like and it is just uh, fascinating, just mesmerizing. But yeah, it's a pretty quick read. It's about 170 pages and you know, when you read through it, I basically take every single lesson that I've ever had about money and I have compiled it into a book easy enough for anyone to just absorb and I made it entertaining, I made it funny, I made it relatable, I made it realistic. All I did was spoke about what happened and what I did about it and what strong lessons are tied to it and how if I known that just a few years earlier, my money would have skyrocketed. I mean, I'm, I'm doing pretty well, but man, like I just, I think about how we can make the next people, like the next generation, the next children come up faster than we have. How if, if the average, you know what I'm saying, 10, 11 year old knew the information that was in my book. If the average 14, 15, 16, 17 year old knew the information that was in my book, how much further along will they be by the time they're 27? I'm 27, that's why I'm saying that. How, how further along will they be when they hit the age of 27? How many millionaires are we gonna have walking around by the age of 18, 19, 20 in the future based upon them having the valuable information that is in something as simple as a book? And the sad thing is, nowadays, people really don't read like that, but there's very valuable information that's hidden away, so to speak, in books. And if we would just take the time to sit down and open up a page and just read something, we would be so much more knowledgeable. We'd be so much further along. So that was why I wrote the book. There's a strong why with everything that I do. That's why I wrote the book. I felt like I've always in my life felt in my heart that I was never meant to be average, that I was meant to be something special. And there were times in life where I felt like maybe I was wrong in thinking that. And whenever I had those thoughts, I would just kind of marinate on those thoughts and just really, really think about it. And after, you know, wallowing in my sorrows long enough, I was like, you know what, I'm actually going to do something about this. And, you know, there's plenty of y'all out there who feel similar, like you want to do something about your situation, but you don't really know where to start. And I definitely didn't know where to start. I just started. But I lay it out. Like, I lay out a whole foundation. Like, that's why it's called the wealth journey. I show you from start to finish how to build wealth, no matter where you're at in your financial journey. So that's what that book is all about. And while we're on the topic of products, like, I'm definitely working on a course for you guys. And I actually mean it this time. So a few years ago, I was working on a course. But then I got sidetracked by, you know, life and, and everything. But... I decided that I was going to write a book first, and I am very glad I made that decision because I put together a very strong book. It's gotten great reviews on Amazon. It has touched a lot of people. Um, almost 2,000 people have, have my book like in their hands right now. It's pretty awesome to know. And it hasn't even been out for a full month yet, so I just want to put that in the perspective. Like it, I released it a few days before my birthday, which is August the 15th. And it, the day of me recording this video is September 8th. So that's what I'm saying. But that's another quick way to save money. Like, for example, I'm making extra money off my book. Like, if I had a goal to save a certain amount of money, the amount I'm earning from my books would essentially be extra income if I wanted to see it in that way. So just don't forget that. But also, I'm on the topic of that. I am working on a course for you guys. And... I want your feedback. So like I did a poll on my page. It looks like most of y'all want a course on how to save and how to budget, which I think is actually pretty interesting. But also a lot of y'all voted that you wanted to learn how to get out of debt, which to me is in the same category because in order to get out of debt, you need to accumulate or save the amount of money to then get out of debt, right? I also had one for uh, building streams of income and investing strategies, which I, I was kind of hoping that y'all were going to choose investing strategies. But, you know, I'm still going to sneak it in there some way because I think it's important for professionals, especially like young professionals and I'm any professional, but definitely young professionals to learn how to invest like in a bunch of different ways. Now, I've taken the last few years to really hone in and learn how to invest and I can help you guys get tremendous results, especially right now we're in a recession. I can help you guys go. I can help you guys go there like whatever goal you have. I can help you get there. I promise you that. But anyway, um, I'm kind of at a loss 
to be honest with you, after the poll votes came in and everything, like I'm kind of, I'm a little bit at a loss because everything is so similar. Like I know what you guys want, like which category, but I don't know your reason why. So I want you guys to set up a call with me. I have a link in the description. It's my Calendly account. Um, I want to set up a 30 minute call with you and you just tell me what you want specifically, what your pain points are, why it is that you want a course, what it is that you want in a course, what outcome you want. That's what I want to know from you. I did this a couple years ago and it worked really well. I had lawyers and teachers and entrepreneurs and just all kinds of people throughout the world. I even had people calling in from Africa. Isn't that insane? From Africa. Like I had people all over telling me what they wanted like on an actual zoom call so that was really dope i want to get back into that and i still have the notes from last time but i want to merge those notes from last time with this time because a lot has changed since i did those calls COVID wasn't a thing when i did those calls now it is you get what i'm saying so i want to know what your pain points are and i want to know how i can best serve you and i also want to know what price points we're working with here like how much are you willing to pay at the very max for a certain course like i want to know these types of things so i'm extremely excited about it i made a um i made a post today on my community tab and um i put the link for you guys to sign up so some of you guys by the time this video launches will have already had calls with me which is awesome but you, whoever, whoever you are watching this video, set up a call with me. I want to know what you're about. I want to know what you're looking for out of a course. So that's my soapbox. But when it comes back, I want to bring it back real quick, bring everything back in in case you got lost in some of the madness that was this video because I do tend to go in a bunch of different areas that I don't expect going to when I record these videos. So we're going to wrap it all back in real quick. If you want to save money and do it in the fastest way possible, you yourself need to have a very deep rooted reason and a very intentional action plan on doing so, which I gave it to you. It's automating your savings account. But once you know your why, you're doing it and you understand that there is a process you can then assign a good number to automate every single month and in the meantime if you want to reach that goal even faster you can work some overtime at work if your if your work doesn't have overtime you can create something of value outside of work and that could be something as simple as mowing someone's lawn for twenty dollars like i was doing except i would expect you to definitely charge more than twenty dollars i was just a kid back then and i didn't know what the heck i was doing when i was mowing those lines i'm just saying so you, somebody who knows, you're good at something, you might be good at drawing, you might be good at painting houses, you might be good at mowing lines, you might be good at just cleaning houses. Like there's no shame in the grind. Like if you have a goal and you really have a strong reason why you're gonna do it, you're gonna do what you have to do within reason, of course. We're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna go against our integrity and character or nothing. We don't do that over here, but we are gonna do things that are the extra mile. You might be a little extra tired at the end of the day. You might put in a few extra hours at work at the end of the day. You might create a YouTube channel or come out with something like I've done so many things that have added value to other people that has essentially added more value to me because it's brought more money into my life. And there is nothing wrong with that and not, never feel like there's anything wrong with grinding or hustling a little extra to make some extra money. There is nothing wrong with that. And there's ways to get better with it. But right now you want the quickest solution, right? So that's the quickest solution. In a later date, we can talk about building passive income streams so you don't have to worry about doing all of this work. But there's a time for every single era in your life. So at some time, you're gonna be working harder. At some time, you're gonna be you know, doing more active income. And then there's gonna be a time in life where it's time for passive income. We'll get there. But right now, you're here to get your money up and that's exactly what I'm here to help you do. So anyway, I talked long enough. If you like this video, give me a like. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, you know what I'm saying. My channel has grown substantially over the years, and I am extremely thankful. Let's keep it growing. Let's keep it going. I didn't mean to rhyme there, but I just did. That's how you know it's getting late, and it's time for me to get off this video. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.